Wido. My name is Kazuma Noda, 28 years old. I'm in charge of the kitchen at a nursing home. It's a busy job, but it's rewarding to hear directly from the elderly. And I thought it was my calling. To the kitchen where I was in charge, a part-time worker came in. Her name is Yukiko Sakuma. She just graduated from high school and is the daughter of the company president. Nice to meet you. Yukiko was a quiet girl who rarely spoke, but she was enthusiastic about her work and always listened to me intently, notes in hand. The seasoning and the ingredients are determined for each user. Be sure to check this chart. Yes. If you have any problems, call me right away. If I'm not around, you can ask one of the part-timers. Yes. Yukiko does what she's told and does her work meticulously. But her voice is always quiet and she's not very talkative. When the part-timers try to make small talk, she wouldn't really engage. When the work was done, she would hurry off. If you will excuse me. Oh my. Mm, she's even more reticent than I thought. It's hard to get close to her. One day, when I was thinking that, that was my daughter. Is she doing well? P president y yeah she does exactly what she's told. That's good to know. Any sign of trouble? So far, so good. My daughter has always been very quiet. But she never tells me when something is wrong, so I'm worried about her. I'll be checking in on her from time to time. Yeah. As he said, the president began to show up often. Whoa! Whoa. There's enough to worry about since she's the president's daughter, but he himself coming in so often is even more so. It's like I'm being watched. Well, I understand how the part-timers feel. I told the part-timers it's not a good idea to talk behind their backs, and kept an eye on them. But even after that, Yukiko... Wanna go for a cup of tea? I'm tired. Excuse me. Oh. She didn't try to blend in. <laughs> Yukiko, can I have a word? Yes? You don't have to get along with the part-timers more than you have to. But if you're too unfriendly, teamwork won't go so well. You should be a little more sociable when you decline an invitation. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at talking to people. I'm not blaming you. Anyway, just try to smile a little more. Sorry for asking you to do something weird. No, it's my fault. I'm sorry. I tried telling her that, but I myself haven't been able to get close to Yukiko at all. One day, when I was wondering what to do, an incident happened. Who put this without permission? The finished dish was accompanied by store-bought snacks. It was Yukiko. What? Uh... Yukiko, did you really put this here? Yes, I'm sorry. Tell me why. Grandma Tanaka said it was her anniversary today, so... Apparently, she was told by Tanaka-san, a user, that today was their wedding anniversary, and that these were the snacks that she used to eat with her late husband. She said she added it to the meal as a way of congratulating her. It's wonderful that you think of the users, but don't do anything without permission. Many of the users have weakened chewing ability. There is also an issue with allergies. Yes, I am sorry. If you want to do something like this, check with me beforehand. I know you're not good at talking, Yukiko, but you have to have the courage to say what needs to be said. Yes, I understand. I'm really sorry. Yukiko nodded and was about to cry. I rushed to intercede. It's okay if you understand, and thought I'd put the matter to rest. But the next day... Hey, Noda? Yeah? I turned around, and there they were. A scary-looking director, and the president's secretary. Follow me. Y yeah I don't know what happened, but the president has never called a cook like this before. Noda, you might want to prepare yourself. Y yeah I don't need your prying eyes. Just be quiet and follow me. It must be about yesterday. It's over. Yukiko probably told the boss that I scolded her for the snacks. He's the president who cares about Yukiko. He must be angry that I gave Yukiko a stern talking to in front of everyone, saying it was too much. I stood in front of the president in the reception room to which I was led, turning very pale. Nota, my daughter told me about yesterday. Yeah, I'm very sorry for scolding Yukiko so severely. But the president... Hey, hey. Look up. What? I didn't call you here to scold you. I'm just really grateful that you noticed the snacks before you served them. Really? I told my daughter sternly not to do that again as well. She's always been like that. She's not a good talker. She doesn't always say important things either. 
The president said that Yukiko has been a taciturn since she was a child and made few friends. I even sent her abroad to study in the hope it would give her a chance, but that didn't work out so well. When she returned to Japan, her classmates made fun of her, saying she had not changed at all after studying abroad. She stopped going to school. Is that so? I hated school too because my parents were poor and my classmates made fun of me, so I can understand her a little. The president told me how he often brought Yukiko to the nursing home site as a refresher for her absence from school. I brought her here a few times too. I'm sure she talked with Tanaka-san then too. I see. That's why she knew about the wedding anniversary and the snacks. Yukiko seems to really enjoy talking with the elderly. I thought that the nursing care field might be a good fit for her, so I encouraged her to work here. The president ended by saying, I know it's a lot of work, but please keep taking care of my daughter. I see. Yukiko's enthusiasm for her work was her desire to please the elderly people she loves so much. After that, things were peaceful for a while. Yukiko hasn't done a single selfish thing since then either. Little by little, she started to join in the chit-chat and even started to smile. I hope we can continue to get to know each other. When I was thinking like that, one day... Who is it? The person in charge of serving at Table B. Is there a problem? Suzuki-san's meal was served at Yamada-san's table. I'm sorry. The chop meal was mistakenly placed on the table of a mixer meal user. Fortunately, the nursing staff noticed and didn't become a problem. But we had an emergency meeting. Who served Table B today? When I gather the entire staff and ask them, they all clam up. But... Yukiko was serving the food. I saw it. <gasps> Yukiko-san, you made a mistake before and got scolded by Nodasan, right? I think you're keeping quiet because you don't want to get scolded again, but it's better for you to come clean. Yamai-san, please calm down. Yukiko, is it true what Yamai-san just said? Yukiko was pale and trembling. Was it actually Yukiko? The next moment, just as I thought that. No, it was not me. What? I was serving at Table D. If you think I'm lying, please check the security cameras. Yukiko, you have quite the voice on you. Everyone seemed to feel the same way and we were all stunned. After that, we all checked the security cameras. And then, the one who served the food at Table B was Yamai-san. Why did you blame Yukiko-san for your mistake? Well, that's... I'm sorry. It seems I was mistaken. Do you really think that excuse will work? I'll report this to the director and the president. Please be prepared. What? It was just a little mistake. There's no need to be so angry. It's not about the mistake. It's about blaming others for the mistake. Can't you understand that? <gasps> After that, from another part-timer. Actually, I was having trouble with Yamai-san forcing me to do her work. Yamai-san threatened me to take over her shift. With those voices combined with this incident, resulted in Yamai's dismissal. What? There are plenty of part-time jobs out there. I'll be glad to quit this place. Yamai left after uttering those words. According to the part-timer's story, she was unable to get a job anywhere after that. And her husband said to her, Get to work! You're the one who made this debt, so you better pay it back or else I'm divorcing you. And get scolded every day. I'm not interested in other people's families, but it seems she was carrying a lot of problems from before. Well, I guess that's karma. The workplace has been peaceful since then, with no major problems. It was great that you were able to speak up and say that you were innocent. Yes, it was because you told me before to say what needs to be said. So you took action right away. Eventually, I would like to get my cooking license and become a full-time employee like you, Nodasan. So, I thought I shouldn't be a helpless child who relies on others. Nice, that's the spirit. I'll be rooting for you to get your cooking license. After that, I helped Yukiko with her studies and gave her advice, and we gradually became closer. After two years of working, Yukiko turned 20 and got her cooking license. When she invited me out to dinner to celebrate her passing... To my surprise, she confessed her feelings for me. I'm much older than you. I only graduated from high school, and I'm not that good-looking, you know. I fell in love with the kind and responsible Nodasan. Am I not good enough? I was so flustered that day that I had to put my answer on hold. The president's face was on my mind. The president loves Yukiko so much that I was scared to imagine what he would be like if I were to go out with her. But after that, I took the time to face my feelings. I'm sorry I was so surprised the other day that I didn't respond right away. 
I kept telling myself that you're only my subordinate and that you're the president's daughter to push my feelings away. But once again, I like you too, Yukiko. Please go out with me. Yes, I'm glad. Thus, we started going out. After two years of dating, without any major fights, we got married. The president, no, uh, my father-in-law, cried at the wedding and said, take care of my daughter and patted me on the shoulder. Yukiko has become much more expressive and talkative than when I first met her. And now she talks more than I do. Kazuma-san, I'd like to go to Manwa Land sometime. Is that okay? Sure, but I'm afraid of the jet coasters, so if you want to go, you're going to have to go alone. No, no. We're going all the way. Let's ride it together. What? Give me a break. <laughs> Even you have your weak spots. I'm glad I get to see that. Damn, then I'm going to get on it over and over again so I can overcome it. That's what I'm talking about. Yukiko, keep up the good work. Let's build a nice family. <laughs>